In this video, we're going to have a look at evaluating functions. Now, this example is a bit trickier than what we're normally used to, because typically when we evaluate functions, we evaluate them at a number. So, for instance, if we wanted to find f of 3, we would replace all instances of x in our function with 3. What makes this example different is, rather than evaluating our function at a number, we're evaluating at, in part a, 2x cubed, and in part b, we're finding f of x plus h minus f of x. Now, if you're familiar with the concept of composition of functions, you might realize that that's really what we're doing here. If you're not familiar with the idea of composition of functions, not to worry. What we're doing is just evaluating our function at some other function of x, rather than evaluating it at a number. Part b is particularly interesting because if you go on to study calculus, it's actually a calculation that you're going to have to perform quite often, so it's something that comes up and is important in calculus. Anyways, go ahead, try this out. Remember that to evaluate a function, all you have to do, so in part a, for example, everywhere you have an x in your function, you have to replace it with 2x cubed. For part b, you first have to find f of x plus h, which means wherever you have an x in your function, you have to replace it with x plus h, and then once you've done that, you have to subtract f of x from it. So that's all there is to it. Go ahead, try this out, and we'll continue together once you're done. Alright, so let's go ahead and have a look at the solution. For part a, first of all, we begin with f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 1, that's our function, and we want to find f of 2x cubed. So everywhere there's an x in our function, we're going to replace with 2x cubed. So we have 2x cubed squared minus 5 times 2x cubed plus 1. And again, all we've done is replace the x's with 2x cubed. If we want to just simplify this a little bit, we end up with 2 squared, which is 4, x cubed squared, because the exponents are side by side, they multiply, so we end up with an x to the 6. And for the next term, 5 times 2 gives us the 10, so we get our final answer, which is 4x to the 6 minus 10x cubed plus 1. So now let's go on to part b. First, let's figure out what f of x plus h is. So f of x, we know, is x squared minus 5x plus 1. So what that means is f of x plus h is going to be what we get when we replace all the x's with x plus h. So we're going to end up with x plus h squared minus 5 times x plus h plus 1. And again, all we've done is replace the x's with x plus h. So now what we can do is find the desired quantity, which was f of x plus h minus f of x. So f of x plus h we just found to be x plus h squared minus 5x plus h plus 1. And we're going to subtract f of x, which is x squared minus 5x plus 1. Technically, we're done, but we should go ahead and simplify as much as we can, because several of these terms, in fact, cancel. So, first of all, x plus h squared is just x plus h times x plus h, so we'll actually multiply that out in the next step. Next, we have the minus 5 times the x plus h, so the 5 gets multiplied by both the x and the h, and so we end up with minus 5x minus 5h. Then we have plus 1, and in the last set of terms, the negative out front gets multiplied by each term, and so what we have is minus x squared, positive 5x, minus 1. So you can already see that certain things cancel out. For example, the 5x's cancel, and the 1's cancel. So that already makes things a bit simpler. If we want to do a little more simplifying, well, for x plus h times x plus h, our first term, what we can do is FOIL. So that means multiplying first, outer, inner, last. So we multiply the first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms together. If you're not familiar with this, there are videos on FOIL on the technique of expanding, so you can have a look at those, but again, we're only doing this step to help us simplify as much as possible. If the question had said not to simplify, we would have already been done as soon as we had found f of x plus h minus f of x in the previous line. All this other work isn't about evaluating, it's simply about simplifying as much as possible. And to do that, we're just going to expand and collect like terms. 
So what we end up with, multiplying the first terms, x squared, the outer terms, xh, the inner terms, you get an hx, but that's the same as xh. Order of multiplication doesn't matter for numbers, so let's just write it as xh. And then we have from the last terms, the h squared. So what else do we have? We had the minus 5h and the minus x squared. Can we simplify any further? Well, we notice that the x squareds actually cancel each other out, and so we arrive at our final answer. We had two xh terms, so those can be combined as well. So we have two xh plus h squared minus 5h as our final answer. And again, the key for evaluating was just doing the very first step. Everything else was just simplifying as much as possible.